So it's National Night Out 2017 in Gig Harbor, Washington. I can't think of a more beautiful setting. What other National Night Out can you roll up in your boat to attend? We've got a fabulous turnout tonight. We're expecting about 2,000 people. And this is where we get to celebrate that community, police, public safety partnership that we have. And it makes Gig Harbor so great. It's a statement that Gig Harbor is a safe, livable, good community to work and play. We have a special relationship with this Gig Harbor community. Uh, we talk about it within the police department. A lot of our citizens know our officers by first name. We have a one-on-one -on -one working relationship with many of the businesses. We work together to solve community problems, and that's what really makes Gig Harbor a special place to work. So National Night Out is a national event that takes place cross country and it happens on the first Tuesday of August and the last five years we participated with National Night Out and in that time uh, we've actually placed eighth in our event in uh, the country uh, amongst our city category which is 5,000 to 15,000 people. So this is the 2017 National Night Out. Uh, we're downtown Gig Harbor on Harborview next to Jerisich and Scandy Brothers Park. This is the first time we've had it down here. Uh, we moved it from the original venue so we could bring it down to the waterfront and get harbor and definitely bring the community together down here. This is a real big focal point of the whole harbor. This is the place to be out of all areas in western Washington and all the national night outs happening in Pierce County especially because we have stormtroopers, we have root beer floats, we got hot dogs, it's all free. We got the waterfront, you can bring your kayak up. We got the brand new Jerris' Scanzi building. We got a concert ready to go here, and of course we got all the Gig Harbor police, our military, and uh, all of our local first responders here. I hope that people take away from this event uh, just showing the unity. Sometimes they see us in our cars and with all of our equipment on and don't really know the person inside the uniform, and this gives us that opportunity to reach out and be able to interact with them in a different way other than enforcement, and that goes for all uh, first responders.